Hello producers, it's Özgün here. And today I will show you how to sample a kick from any track. So let's get into the tutorial. So I have Mars West 7 cs extended mix in here. It's AIF format. So it's wave, it's uncompressed. So just match the BPM of your track. And go to the options, project general, general settings and in the time base just make it maximum. That's why you will be able to zoom further. Find the drop of the track and zoom it. Not here. This part. So I can see the transient of the kick. Just find the drop and find the first transient, if you can't tell if it's a kick or not. So, put it in here. Just the beginning of some beat. And choose one bar. And cut the track. Like this. Now I will make unique as a sample. It will be easy to work for me. And then click left top, edit sample. In Edison, just go to the equalizer. And in here, first we will draw a curve till 100. Like this. Accept and drag it and drop it. This is our base. Repeat the same pro process. This time we will start with 100 and take until 1k. Like this. Accept it and drag it. This will be the mid part of our kick and bass. And lastly, repeat the process one more time. And this time we will start with 500 and got all of them. Like this. Accept it, drag and drop. Now, this is our transient. Just, by the way, don't forget to make them generic or you will have clicky sounds when you cut the samples. Just make it like this. Yeah, now we have kick and bass. We just sampled the tonal kick of that track. If you want only kick, lower the body part, bass part. And then layer them together. Actually first, just send them in a empty mixer channel. and make it mono because you cannot know what they do in the mastering and you could have some phasing issues that's why before you rendering your kick just make it mono and then group them together in the same track Right click, console that this track from track start. And yeah, you have your kick 
sample it from 7Cs. Now you can make tracks with that. Uh, one quick tip for you before I finish this video. If you want to ch change the key of that kick, you don't touch mid and top, top parts, but you can change the sub parts. Only change the key of the bass part. Like, this is the original. So I will just lower down one semitone. With this technique, you can use it anywhere, in any key, in any track. So, today that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me some feedbacks about my videos. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.